Welcome back to Challenges of Faith radio program. I'm Gary McCann, the producer and host, along with my co-host on Looking for Some Action, Keep the Party Going, episode number eight. I know you're ready. Well, this individual has set the tone from the beginning. All they want from you is some fun-filled action. Let's go on a whirlwind trip, 24-hour day party in beach nightclubs, politically correct functions. According to this individual, you do everything too slow, therefore causing the party to slow down, and you're just trying to become serious about the relationship. I have some questions for you. You don't mind, do you? Why is this person looking for some action? Why are they? Why are you? Why are you not interested in a serious relationship? Are you willing to party with the other person until they're ready for a serious relationship? Why or why not? Now, for the believer... You know, the person of faith. You know, that's you. You went by that pond of water, remember? So your prayer went something like this. Oh, God, send me another person that's just looking for some action so that all we can do is just party 24 hours a day. Go from club to club, or maybe the politically correct functions. Was that your prayer? You know, over in First Corinthians, chapter thirteen, verse four, four through eight. You don't mind, do you? It says, "Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud." It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no wrongs, no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. It never fails. Thank you for listening. Challenges of Faith Radio Program, the relational series with me and my co-host. Welcome back to Challenges of Faith Radio Program. This is Jinky De La Cruz Valentino, co-host of Brother Gary in Divine Connections. I'm glad that you are here. Imagine a world where misunderstandings turn into opportunities for deeper understanding. When there are problems, they help you grow. And where love and connection are the driving forces in your life. It's not a dream. It's the guarantee of getting along well in relationships. And they're here to show you how to make it a reality, a blueprint for a fulfilling relationship. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 says, The beginning of wisdom is this, Get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. This emphasizes the value of seeking wisdom and understanding when it comes to making choices in relationships and understanding our own readiness for commitment. Brian Tracy once said, Success is like a journey, not just a final destination. Sometimes it means having fun along the way to appreciate how beautiful the path is. 
This means that some people enjoy the journey itself. People looking for some action love living in the moment, always searching for new experiences and the excitement of spontaneity. They think life should be an adventure full of stories and happy, unforgettable memories that make life more meaningful. But when adventure lovers have to decide between excitement and a strong commitment in a relationship, they might pause or have second thoughts. They might feel unsure about committing to a long-term structured relationship. They worry that committing to a relationship might take away their freedom and limit their chances to explore new things. For example, Anna, who loves adventure, lives by Richard Branson's motto, Life is an Endless Series of Adventures. She loves traveling to new places, tasting unique food, and meeting people from all over the world. Anna's love for adventure sometimes leads her to go on backpacking trips and road journeys without much planning. Now Anna is dating David. David likes having stability and making long-term plans. He values serious, committed relationships and dreams of a calm life with a family. The challenge they have is finding a way to balance Anna's love for adventure with David's need for stability. Can they compromise to create a relationship that honors both their aspirations? Well, they can start by openly discussing what they each want, what matters to them, and what they expect. Anna and David can try to find middle ground where Anna gets to have her adventures and at the same time, David feels comfortable and secure in their relationship. For example, they could plan occasional adventurous trips as a couple and set aside time for activities that are more about building a strong, committed relationship. Anna says, since we like doing different things on weekends and I like going on adventures, I also value spending time with you at home. What do you think we can do? And David says, I understand your sense of adventure, but I do feel the need for some quiet weekends too. How about we compromise? We can plan an adventure one weekend and then have a relaxing weekend at home the next. Anna can simply talk about her passion for adventure by telling stories of her past trips and how much she enjoys discovering new places. David can show her that he's genuinely interested in Anna's adventure by listening carefully to what Anna wants to achieve in her life, recognizing what truly matters to her, paying close attention, and asking her questions about her experiences. Commitment Values David can explain why he thinks commitment is important, saying it makes life stable and secure. Anna can show that she gets where David is coming from and agree that having a solid foundation in a relationship matters. Expectations They can have a conversation about what they expect from the relationship down the road, like having a family, career plans, 
and where they picture themselves in the long run. Anna says, where do you see us in the next few years? What are your aspirations? David says, I see us creating a solid relationship. Possibly starting a family? It means a lot to me that we grow together and make our dreams come true as a couple. By doing this, they can figure out common goals and dreams, even if they approach them differently in their own unique ways. Communication They can create a habit of regularly talking to each other asking how they're feeling, and discussing what they need as their relationship grows and changes. David says, As our relationship grows and changes, our wants and needs might change. Is there anything you've been wanting or needing that we should talk about? And Anna says, I appreciate you bringing that up. I think we should talk about what we both need from this relationship now and in the future so we can continue to grow together. Talking openly on a regular basis can help you adjust and discover fresh ways to respect each other's wishes. By talking openly about these things in their relationship, Anna and David can set the groundwork for finding middle ground and understanding each other better. Respect here is very important. Brian Tracy says, The more you like and respect yourself, the more you like and respect other people. The more you consider yourself to be a valuable and worthwhile person, the more you consider others to be valuable and worthwhile as well. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33 says, However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Colossians chapter 3 verse 19 says, Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7 says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10 to 11 says, A wife of noble character who can find. She's worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. God emphasizes the importance of love, consideration, and treating one's spouse with respect and honor in a marital relationship. This way, they can create a partnership that values what each of them wants. Good relationships are built on understanding, respect, and both people growing together, which can help couples find the balance they want. Here's another scenario, the social butterfly. Alex is known as the life of the party, inspired by Earl Nightingale's wisdom. Embrace spontaneity. On weekends, Alex is always out at parties, 
going on unplanned trips, and enjoying fun events. He really loves the excitement of the moment and being in the spotlight. On the flip side, Taylor is more of an introvert who really values deep one-on-one connections. She likes spending time alone and having meaningful conversations. Taylor likes the idea of a serious relationship but finds it hard to cope with Alex always wanting to be around people and have a lot of social fun. Can Alex and Taylor find a way to honor their different social preferences while building a strong and committed partnership? It begins with open communication and understanding each other's needs and boundaries. Alex and Taylor can discuss their social preferences openly, acknowledging that they have different ways of interacting with the world. If Alex and Taylor talk about their social preferences and agree on how much they'll socialize, they can find a way to make both of them happy. By using what each of them is good at and helping each other with their social preferences, Alex and Taylor can make their relationship stronger. They can make it work better, even if they're different and appreciate those differences. To make these relationships work, it's important for them to find things they both enjoy and to understand what each other wants. When looking for love and companionship, remember there is no single way that works for everyone. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. Life is a journey filled with twists and turns, and it's up to us to decide how we want to navigate it. Whether you're after excitement, a strong commitment, or something in between, what's important is understanding and accepting each person's unique journey and desires. Love itself is an adventure, and the best relationships often come from surprises and shared moments of happiness. Psalm chapter 37, verse 23 to 24 says, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Our journey may have stumbling blocks, but God is with us every step of the way. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Jinky De La Cruz Valentino, life coach and digital copywriter. If you need help in crafting persuasive content or a compelling video sales letter for your business to increase leads and sales, I'm happy to help. Feel free to reach out to me via email at jinkyyourlivestoryteller@gmail.com. at gmail.com. See you in the next episode.